During interphase of the cell cycle, the genetic material of the cell is found in the form of chromatin and located within the nucleus of the cell, which is surrounded by the nuclear envelope. During the S stage of interphase, DNA replication takes place, and thus the cell leaving interphase and entering mitosis already has replicated its genetic information. In addition to the replicated genetic information, interphase cells that are about to divide also replicate their centrosomes. In animal cells, these centrosomes are formed from centriole pairs. As cells leave interphase and begin prophase, the first stage of mitosis, the chromosomes begin to condense. The nuclear envelope begins to vesiculate, and the centrosomes migrate to opposite ends of the cells to define the two poles. During prophase, the mitotic spindle apparatus begins to form by the polymerization of tubulin proteins. This creates microtubules that emanate from each centrosome. Chromosomes completely condense such that sister chromatids formed from the replicated genetic information and join that their centromeres are clearly visible. During prometaphase, the nuclear envelope completely breaks down and the mitotic spindle is formed. Polar microtubules extend from both poles and overlap with each other. The sister chromatids become attached to the mitotic spindle via kinetochore microtubules that attach to the kinetochores, which are bound to the centromeres. As prometaphase is nearing its end, the sister chromatids are observed to jerk back and forth between the two poles. During metaphase, the sister chromatids become localized in a region called the metaphase plate. Once the chromosomes have aligned at the metaphase plate, metaphase is complete. When metaphase is completed, anaphase begins. The sister chromatids separate, and each chromatid is now linked to only one pole via a kinetochore microtubule. The kinetochore microtubules shorten, and the individual chromatids, now called chromosomes, are drawn to the poles. Toward the end of anaphase, the polar microtubules push against each other, and cause the two poles to be moved farther away from each other. Each daughter cell will receive the same complement of chromosomes as was originally found in the mother cell, thus assuring that each daughter cell gets an identical copy of genetic information. During telophase, the chromosomes decondense and most of the microtubules depolymerize. Portions of nuclear membrane surround each individual chromosome, creating vesicles. The vesicles fuse with each other to create a nucleus containing all of the chromosomes at one pole of the cell. In animal cells, cytokinesis or cell division involves the formation of a cleavage furrow. The plasma membrane is observed to constrict and eventually separates the cell into two daughter cells. The daughter cells then enter interphase, where growth and enlargement occurs, leading to either preparation for another mitosis or differentiation and specialization occurs.